I'm of course the other big issue facing San Francisco and that's why a bike shop in Hayes Valley will close up shop for good. Here's Betty you. Over about two years, burglars have repeatedly hit High Road Bike Co. in Hayes Valley. A thief managed to steal a $12,000 e-bike that was chained to this display. This side door was literally broken in half so many times, owner Chris Calloway eventually sealed it off completely. He said the last straw came recently when a man just rode off with the bike during business hours. He plans to close for good at the end of May. A little bit bittersweet. Um, part of me is just kind of happy to, to be able to go home and uh, hopefully get a little bit more rest versus, you know, getting calls from the alarm company. And uh, that was pretty stressful. But this is over two years, okay? Like, this is, yeah, but it's still, it's a lot. He shared various police reports he's collected after each break-in, but crime is a contributing factor to his decision to close. This year's monster storms and the overall economic downturn in the city made it tough to get customers through the doors, and fewer commuters in San Francisco didn't help. Chris has lived in the city for 25 years and owns multiple small businesses, including what began as a bike shop in Jackson Square. We had a break-in attempt there uh, pretty much the first day that we were at the shop, but luckily I was there when someone tried to break in and I was able to scare them off. The crime isn't scaring off Chris, and he isn't giving up on San Francisco. In fact, he plans to open a new cannabis dispensary called Outer Haze on Van Ness in about two weeks. I think our, our city's definitely at an inflection point, and we have an opportunity to grow from this moment. High Road Bike Co. isn't the only Hayes Valley storefront that's been targeted. <laughs> Consumer Electronics a Store Beta eventually closed after multiple break-ins and an armed robbery in 2021. Last September, someone smashed the windows at betting store Brooklinen on Hayes Street. Still, Chris considers the strong merchants association in Hayes Valley, the addition of ambassadors, and the presence of beat cops, bright spots in the neighborhood. And I do know that these are issues that you will find in other cities as well. I think it's just the support of the community and, and the people here that I, I just love so much. Union 